Do you have the patience it takes? She found it hard to bend. The muscles held tight, keeping the joints from moving through their full range of movement. I held my hand gently behind her pole and breathed into the release. Working with my breath, I applied pressure and eased off again, feeling the soft tissues lengthen slowly, gradually, in their own time. The owner commented on how much patience is needed in my work. Sometimes it can look to the outsider as though I'm doing nothing when I'm treating a horse. But to me, each moment is fascinating. I feel the change in muscle and fascia, a softening or a lengthening. I see the twitch of a nostril or the blink of an eye. There might be a subtle shift in posture, a lift through the withers or more weight taken through the hindquarters. At times, the reaction can be more obvious, with a rolling of the eye, a yawn or a lowering of the head and neck. It may seem as though I'm patiently waiting, but to me, there's change in every moment and patience doesn't come into it. Your challenge today, should you wish to accept, is to consider what you would approach differently if you were able to focus on the now rather than the end goal. Might it take less energy to enjoy the moment than to summon the patience to wait to get to where you want to be?